Okay, so what we are looking at today is the 2023 $5 heritage coin. Oh, please give me the coin. I need to sell it for $500. So here we have two days after, so 9 September. As you can see, they're going for $250, $230. Oh, $200. Wow, got 10 of them. Oh, eight. 200 230 200 okay so the average price two days after is 200 so and closer to the end we'll look at and see how much they are going for now okay so then we look at the initial listing for these coins so release day 150 250 120 so about 150 dollars per coin okay 250 so this is when the hype was building this is pretty much before a lot of people actually knew this coin was coming out so if we go down you can okay so we will go to the start and the first of september 31st of august so for about 100 120 so this is before a lot of people knew that this coin was coming out i only knew uh, probably a week before yeah, this is about a week before a lot of people still didn't know and um, too closer to release date and as you can see they're going for about 100 120 dollars so these are pre-sales so the people probably wouldn't have even known if they could get the coin if they are a reseller or if they are a coin shop well obviously they know that they're going to get some coins and uh yeah so bump up the price but i can't accuse anyone of this so what we have is six pages 240 so that's about 1400 coins that have been sold some of these would have been multiple listings so let's go to current listing price uh, and sold to 160 so 200 dollars 150 so obviously the price since two days after the release date uh, the hype is starting to die down so people are starting to forget about these coins those collectors who wanted to get them have already got them so also the people who are buying these are already for resellers or people who just couldn't get the coin because we know that the royal australian mint probably wasn't answering their phone or probably they only had one person answering and uh, people just couldn't get through so sales through that line was slow coin shops and the Australia post sell it very quickly and the online websites of the Royal Australia Mint they didn't sell them so you couldn't buy 500 coins at one time they're only selling them for one per household so customer so once again people would have probably tried to use bots different accounts to get multiple coins some of them would have been successful uh, but some people would not have been so with the amount of coins 1400 you can see that well a lot of people purchase them just to resell them and it's just the market these days so a lot a lot of coin collectors pretty much have just stopped worrying about buying these for the collection Especially at these prices, uh, in 20 years' time, you're probably still going to sell it for the same price as this. And with inflation, it's going to reduce the actual uh, value of the coin. So basically, currently, they're selling for about $150, $160 per coin. So if we have a look at what's for sale now, so ending soonest, so 150 127 So there's the 200 That's a pretty good effort. Um, 140 yeah sell five of them for 150 each obviously they're struggling no one's interested in buying them for that okay 150 120 <clears throat> so it looks like people are trying to get them around about 130 140 but this one hasn't got any bids considering some are going for 150 no one's bid on that that's a bit strange 113 so next week we'll just come back and we'll see if 
they've reduced the price from about a hundred dollars now to about a hundred dollars i reckon that the price will go down as we can see it went down from 200 to what it is now 150 so the steam has run out of the actual market anyway if there's any other coin you'd like me to have a look at please leave a comment down below thank you and goodbye